Man, I swear, there are no fish in this hole. Man. I don't know what the heck's going on. Right oh, hey. Hey everybody, how's it going today? Jay Ball Booties Outdoors. You guys caught me in the middle of uh, wishing I was fishing, I guess. But uh, no, so uh, we've lost a lot of ice here in Michigan. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about ice shanties. If you're in the, uh, what's that word? What is it called? I forget the name of the word now. If you're in the market, if you're in the market for an ice shanty, I want to talk to you guys about the shanties that I use, why I use them, the pros and cons and the benefits to having a single man pop-up shanty versus a like, two person kind of pop-up shanty. So come on, hang out with me and I'll show you guys exactly why I have these two shanties and then talk about some other shanties that are on the market. So come on, let's go, let's go fishing. Let's do this. We're not fishing yet, we're talking ice shanties. pretty crazy how dark it can actually get in these shanties which works great especially if you're trying to do sight fishing or anything like that but you know you might be wondering why you would consider purchasing an ice shanty for ice fishing and if you're going to fish in adverse weather conditions if it's snowing or if it's really really windy or if it's raining you know to get yourself out of the elements that's one of the biggest reasons why I purchased the two shanties that I have and they're really, this one's really lightweight, actually. It's really easy to get in and out of the truck. I did purchase the cover for it because you always want to make sure you've got the cover when you're traveling from spot to spot, especially in the back of the truck, or if you're going to be dragging this behind a snowmobile or an ATV. But I really do like this. This is the Thermal Pro Clam. I purchased this one two years ago. It's got some pretty cool little features in it, which I'll try to show you the best I can in the dark. Um, but I really do like this shanty. Like I said, it's really easy to use. It folds up really easily as well. So check this out. Just one simple movement like that. And you can grab the rope that's in the back and you can go to your next spot. Once you get to your next spot, you just boom, flip it over real quick. Like that. And you're good to go and you can start fishing. Good too if you're on a really good bite. If you don't want to uh, have people watching as you're setting the hook, you know that's one way to uh, easily get attention if you're uh, on a popular lake or a crowded lake. Um, so let me show you a few of the features of this ice shanty and why I like it so much. So check some of these features out. Just a few of the features I want to show you before we flip the hood over. So this does come with this nice little clam uh, tray right here. You got a drink tray and you've got a tray for holding all your pliers and some of your soft plastic. So you can actually put your pliers or scissors in there. What's really cool too about this one is this sliding seat on this extra like swing. So this is almost like a hammock. You can slide this chair back and forth and you can put extra clothes in there. I put my lantern in there. It's just really cool. Some of the little features that this ice shanty has, this single man pop-up ice shanty uh, so I do like a few of those features but let's flip this thing over and let me show you another a couple of other cool features on this shanty all right so one nice thing is nice heavy duty zipper and the one way you can tell if these shanties are insulated is by this pattern like this diamond pattern you see on here um, this pattern actually is the insulation so a couple things these has got these air vents up here especially if you're running a uh, propane heater there's two air vents one on each side that you can easily access. And then they've got these fold down windows, which I'll show you here those in just a second. But yeah, so in general, this is what the inside looks like. I know it's dark, but you can drop down this window right here for added light. And you can drop down this window here, and then you can actually drop down this window here. So it's pretty light in here now with these three windows open. One other cool feature too, I'll try to show you this, hopefully you guys can see it, is this kind of canopy right here. This is good for throwing your extra gloves and your coat and that kind of stuff in there, just to kind of keep it out of your way. But I'm very, very impressed with this single man shanty. Again, I bought it two years ago and I absolutely love it, especially for those days where I'm by myself and I'm hole hopping, doing a lot of moving around. And then what's also nice too, is the storage that this has. So you can actually put, again, all your extra stuff in there, but then you can also put a bucket in here as well. I can throw my auger and my spud in here and keep everything nice and out of the way. So really do enjoy the single man clam shanty, but let's talk about the big shanty now and when and where and why you'd want to have one of these big two person shanties. She might be an oldie, but she's a goodie. So this is the Clam Voyager TCX. I don't think they make this specific version anymore. So just to kind of give you guys an idea 
I've had this ice chamois for probably close to 13 years now, I think 13 or 14 years. And I originally bought this chamois because me and my good buddy um, used to fish with a lot. We were fishing Lake St. Clair a ton and the two of us would go out there. So if you're gonna be fishing with a buddy, family member, whatever it is, having a two person shanty is a must. And now there's, there's newer upgraded versions of this um, that have more insulation. This one just has the insulated top on it. But again, I've had this one for 13 years and it pretty much looks brand new. It's got its, its dings and dents, you know, it's got its character scratches on it, but uh, it does set up pretty, pretty easily. I, I might try to show you guys how to do that at the end of this video, just how quickly it is, but it's got this big, huge door on the front. There's actually a door on the back as well. It's got one, two, three, four, I think five windows to add an extra light. Um, it's, it's just a really, really nice shanty. So again, if you're going to be fishing a two person, or if you're going to be doing any type of spearing, this size of shanty works really, really good for spearing. There's enough room to hold the spear up. And then also for making content, there's a lot of good space in here, depending on the size of the holes you're cutting, there's a lot of room for making content. So let's go ahead and hop in the shanty and check this out. And actually what I'll do is I will link Dylan Grubb from Extreme Outdoors in the video that he made of us spearing for pike in Northern Michigan. I'll leave a link to that video up here so you guys can check it out, absolutely epic. But if you wanna just get a true idea of what it's like to have two people inside of a shanty of this size, spearing for Northern Pike and having all of our camera equipment, it actually has just the right amount of space. Let's go ahead and check, this, check out the inside of this thing and see what it looks like. Welcome to Casa de Ball. <laughs> Not really, but uh, as you can see, when you first kind of step into this, this two person shanty, you've got these two really nice seats, which I'll go over the features of the seats, but it's really good, comfy, good for all day sitting. As you can see, there's ton of space in here for all your camera equipment, your hole, all your tackles. There's this extra little tray they include with it. Really, really nice. The one thing I do like about this version, especially, is how big these aluminum tubes are. I mean, these are, this is a super um, stout ice shanty itself. Really just impressed with the way that it's built. So you've got these four windows here, and then you've got these two windows up front that you can open uh, and zip this thing up. So let's let's go over a few more of these features while we're sitting inside here. Let me show you guys what's all, what's all entailed in this type of shanty. Okay, so... Again, this style of shanty, it's really, really nice. So basically you're sitting on this plastic sled. There are these two seats. I know they've got armrests now for these kind of seats, but again, these are super comfy. They swivel, you know, for all day sitting, these are really, really nice. Much nicer than sitting like on a bucket, <laughs> I should say. But there's a lot of space. I mean, this is really, really nice. Again, hopefully you guys watched the video from Dylan Gruff from Extreme Outdoorsman. Again, I'm gonna leave the link up here again so you guys can check it out. But just wanna show you how much space is actually inside of their shanty, whether you're making content by yourself or if you're making content with a buddy. But again, especially for spearing, this is a very, very good shanty, especially for sight fishing too, because you can get a pretty good size hole in this shanty, but still have room for your camera equipment. And then also like for your underwater cameras or any kind of fish finders you want. So. Uh, the couple of little cool features are these, these little extra bags right here for hanging. So you can put like your wallet or your phone in there. Uh, they've got these two vents up here as well in each corner. Again, if you've got a heater, you want, want to make sure you've got good ventilation. And again, it's a little bit heavier. This version is a little bit heavier, which I'm okay with. Um, these pole, the aluminum poles are super, super sturdy. I know in some of the newer versions, they're a little bit lighter duty, which is totally fine. I'm sure they're just as strong, but I just like knowing that there's kind of these reinforced aluminum poles for strength. It is pretty tall too. I mean, I am six foot three and I can stand up, um, you know, just barely hit my head on top of the shanty. So there's a lot of room inside this. But let me turn the camera around and kind of show you guys the floor area, just to kind of give you a visual of the space. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really nice shanty. And I've had this thing for 13 years. It's got its scars on it, it's got its wear and tear, but overall I'm super happy with the quality of this with this clam ice shanty. And again, I know they don't make this version, but they make newer versions of it where they've got way more insulation, which are way, way warm, especially as you're starting to get into the latter parts of the season, which is super cold. So let's see just how much space we've got here in the floor, and then I'll show you how much space is actually in the back here as well. Here's the space in the back. So what's really nice is Mrs. Blue, Blue Jay can actually lay back here if uh, she wants to. <laughs> There's tons of space in here. So you got plenty of space for a couple five gallon buckets, a couple milk crates. It need be, you can put your lunch, which I put my lunch under here. You can put your extra clothes. I'm actually gonna get some hangers that you can put in here to hang your, hang your clothes from. But you can see, I mean, just how much space 
there is inside of this shanty. I mean, there's a ton of room. Again, like I said, I'm six foot three and my head just barely touches the uh, ceiling. And uh, what's really nice too is how easy these stabilizers are to put in and take out. I mean, they just pop in and then they pop out. So it might be kind of hard to do one-handed, but this is super easy. So when you unfold this thing, you've got this pull right here that's got this adjustable uh, area on it. There's a pin down there to know that that one goes in the sled. Then you've got this one you put in, this one, and the last one right here by the door, that stabilizer. So again, just a really, really nice, well-built ice shanty. Definitely recommend it if you are in the market for a two-person style shanty. These clan thermal insulated uh, Voyager type shanties work really, really well. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys just how easy it is to put up one of these two-person shanties. And one thing to keep in mind is that each shanty kind of has its own little like kinks and quirks, I guess. So I've actually found out a really easy way to set this shanty up. It, it can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you're cold to get everything to kind of snap into place. But let me walk you through step by step on how I do this. So hopefully you guys can see this as, as best as possible. But well, what I like to do is I like to first start with the lower half. And then what I do is I pull it out and you'll hear the snaps actually kind of snap into place. Listen. That one. And that one. So the first one snapped in. So then what I do is I grab the second one and do the exact same thing. I'll push the, I'll push the front forward and as I pick it up, I'll just lock into place. That one's locked in. I'll grab the middle bar. That one's locked in. And then I just grab the last bar. So the last one might be a little bit difficult to get to lock into place just because of, you know, everything's kind of tight. But then you just walk inside and listen for the click. There we go. And there we go. That's how easy it is to put up one of these shamies. Then you just put your stabilizer bars in and you're good to go. So it's actually really easy to fold up and then to take down, but I've definitely found it to be easiest to start from the very front or the, the lower portion, lock it into place and just kind of push everything forward. And as you're pushing forward, make sure you lock those buttons in and you're good to go. So this thing is super nice, really effective. It is a little bit on the heavy side, so it is a little bit of a challenge to get in and out of the truck. But again, definitely if you're fishing with a buddy or if you're trying to do some spearing, make some content, this is definitely a really nice type of shade to have. Now there is one other type of shanty that's very popular that I didn't talk about. I don't have one of these, but it's the hut, I think, style or the tent style where they, they pop up. They're like a, like a, um, like a, uh, like bow hunting blind or, or a, uh, a deer hunting blind, you know, that, that kind of pops up. And those are really, really nice too. Uh, those are, you know, they have their, they have their benefits, especially that they have so much space inside of them. You have to make sure you anchor them down. Uh, but the nice thing about the sled style is when you're sitting in it, you're anchoring the shanty down. I will use the auger and auger a hole in the ice and then put my rope around the front uh, or the rope that's on the front of the shanty. I'll put that around the auger to kind of hold it into place. But those those tent or those hut style ones are also very, very popular. A couple of things to consider is there's no seats. So you got to make sure you have a seat that comes with it. You got to make sure you have the anchoring system and then the, um, the anchoring screws, but then also the anchoring of... Uh, adapter that goes on the drill because trying to screw those pegs into ice by hand it's tough trust me it's really tough so hopefully you guys enjoyed this overview of my one-man clam shanty versus the two-man clam shanty and I, I don't work with clam I just I really like their product I've been a big fan of their products for I mean 13 years I've had that Voyager uh, TCX uh, shanty I use a lot of their their tungsten jigs or soft plastics and I was really, really impressed with the quality and the longevity of the Voyager. That's what made me want to buy the smaller version. Um, it's really, really lightweight, look really durable. I've had it for two seasons now, I'm just really impressed. So if you guys like this kind of content, let me know, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. If there's any other kind of stuff you want me to break down for you, if there's any other features that you want me to talk about with these shanties, or if you want, to be, want me to review any other types of shanties, let me know, I really appreciate it. And we will hopefully be back on the ice soon, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, maybe, just depending on how the weather turns. But uh, definitely appreciate all the support. Remember, the easiest way to change your attitude 
is by showing gratitude, thanks, and hopefully next time we'll see you, it'll be on the water. But for now, I'm just gonna keep on wishing I was fishing. Thanks for watching, have a good day.